There are three types of bodies in PyMonk. Dynamic, kinematic and static. When you create a body, by default it is set to a dynamic type. So let's go to the pymonk.org and open up the API reference and the pymonk.body. So here you see when you create a body you give it a mass which is by default set to zero, a moment which is by default set to zero and a body type which is by default set to dynamic. So when you go back to PyCharm you can also if you are using PyCharm, of course, you can also click on the body and open the go to declaration and it, it's very well documented. So you can read about this as well. So let's say, let's see the dynamic, the dynam dynamic bodies are the default body type. They react to collisions are affected by forces and gravity and have a finite uh, amount of mass. These are the type of bodies that you want to, the physics engine to simulate for you. Dynamic bodies interact with all types of bodies and can generate collision callbacks. So the dynamic. Now let's see the kinematic. So, Kinematic bodies are bodies that are controlled from your code instead of inside a physics engine. They are affected by gravity, or I mean they aren't affected by gravity and they have an infinite amount of mass. So they don't react, react to collisions or forces with other bodies. Kinematic bodies are controlled by setting their velocity which will cause them to move. Good examples of kinematic bodies might include things like moving platforms, objects, moving platforms. Objects that, that are touching or jointed to a kinematic body are never allowed to fall asleep. So the kinematic body. And the static bodies. Static bodies are bodies that never or rarely move. Using static bodies for things like terrain offers a big performance boost over other body types because Chipmunk doesn't need to check for collision between static objects and it never needs to update their collision information. Additionally, because static bodies don't move, Chipmunk knows it's safe to let objects that are touching or jointed to them fall asleep. Uh, generally, all of your level geometry will be attached to the static body except for things like moving platforms or doors. Every space provides a built-in static body for your convenience. Static bodies can be moved, but there is a performance penalty as the collision information is recalculated. There is no penalty for having multiple static bodies and it can be useful useful for simplifying your code by allowing different parts of your static geometry to be initialized or moved separately. So go back to the API and uh, here is the body. You can open the source here and here is written the same information which I read which I read now, so, okay, so let's go back to our code, I already prepared for you and for me also some comments here for the dynamic, for the kinematic and for the static bodies and how to change, here we are creating a body it's when if I run it, it just falls down because by default it is set to dynamic, so it is affected by the gravity. So 
as I earlier said, the first value is the mass and the second value is the moment of inertia. So the third value is the body type itself, so pi mark that uh, body that dynamic, which is the default. So let's change it. Uh, to kinematic kinematic and as you see when I run it the box stays at the same place it's no more falling down and when you set it uh, the body type to kinematic these two values, the mass and the um, inertia, or the moment, is ignored. So if you are using kinematic or static bodies, as you see, uh, it stays uh, 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 in the same place as well, so it's not affected by uh, gravity or forces. And as well, when using a static body, the mass and the moment of inertia are ignored. So technically, when you just creating, uh, I'm going to create three bodies for each type. So body, this will be the body one, this will be body two and body three and when, let's say I'm going to change this to dynamic and leave the mass at one and the, in the moment at this value so but when I'm creating a static or let's say here kinematic body we can leave these two values out because these are ignored but don't forget uh, if you leave out these two values you need to type here the uh, body type equals kinematic body and the same uh, with the static body so body type equals body that's static 